Hey, what's going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Jack's skill cards or Horde Mode. So the five cards I like to run are Healing Reach, Explosive Hijack, Repair Speed, which I like to interchange sometimes with Portable Resupply, because Jack can, uh, when Jack carries a gun, he is cloaked usually. Uh, healing Upgrade and Optimizer. Healing Reach, of course, is just, uh, the first card is just basically the distance at which you heal your DPS class or your JD. Um, explosive hijack, so enemies within a certain, uh, when you hijack them, they explode within a certain radius. This will be useful. Um, if your teammates are getting overran, you can hijack a scion or whatever, uh, make them explode, kill the enemies in that certain radius, and then go back to healing. Um, can be very useful there. Repair speed, um, again, this is an interchangeable card. Um, I like running it, um, especially if you have a beard or something. In the 30s or 40s in the later waves um, if you fall behind on repairs like for example there's a matriarch or a swarm act that destroys a lot of fortifications it's useful to help uh, Beard or Dell or whoever the engineer is get back on their feet I uh, remember this is just the speed it only repairs faster but not cheaper so just keep that in mind healing upgrade is just the rate at which you heal your DPS class so once it's upgraded, it's you know, a 100% healing rate, so your JD or your Keegan or whoever can take as much damage as they want. As long as you're healing them, they will go down occasionally, but you pretty much invincible as long as you are continuously healing them. Optimizer is basically probably Jack's most important card. A level 5 gives you 200% more power while smelting, and Mad made a video you know, discussing what the best weapons are. Uh, for forging, so be sure to check that out if you haven't. Backstab's a gold card. Again, I don't really use this card that much. It extends the hijack length by 20%. There's a couple of seconds here and there, but I don't really um, really use it personally because it's not. there's nothing I would really take off for it. And the Mind Control Expert is another card like that. Um, it gives enemies that you hijack more health. I think 100% more health at level 5. Um, I, I I prefer Explosive Hijack over it. Um, but run at your own risk. Uh, portable Resupply. This would be useful. This can heal, um, repair um, ammo. Especially for like, uh, like a Kate if she doesn't have a locker. You can, you can hold the overkill. And um, it's also useful to help you forge between ways. Because usually... When you are holding a gun as Jack, you are cloaked, so that's good to have. And then score boost. And then zapper upgrade is just the zapper damage. Which, if you're low level Jack, you can run it, but when you have the higher level cards, you definitely want to run the cards that I mentioned earlier. Alright. And this is just a video showing the distance that you can get. You can heal with, uh, with Jack. You see him trying to heal JD. No, I'm not, that's getting in the way. I'm just showing you the distance here. It's about 20, 25 feet. Um, at level 5 um, of distance that you can heal your DPS class from. And uh, one tip and trick we like to do in our horde runs is in the first 15 or 20 ways when we're setting up, um, if there's an enemy left, like that's hijackable, and like a drone, like this, we like to hijack it and uh, let them run around the map a little bit. Um, give them your engineers, as you can see in TACOM this second, you'll see they're moving fortifications, upgrading, setting things up. Just give them the extra time. I think it's just uh, definitely a good tip uh, if you're using Jack. Definitely want to do that. And that'll be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you.